what's good? What's going on with you? It's your girl Simba, and it's time for another reaction, okay? Today we are checking out 15 deadliest fights in the insect kingdom. That's lit. So with that being said, um, this looks like it's going to be a lit video. Before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure you are subscribing, okay? You know, we want as many returning subscribers as possible. We're trying to get 200k before March. Is it possible? Yes. All you got to do, hit the button. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, let's check out these bugs. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Let's, let's look at the bugs. Kill each other. Yeah. We often see large animals fight it out in the wild. We yeah. sometimes forget there is another world, much smaller, filled with insects where massive battles take place. Have you ever seen a centipede fight a tarantula? What happens when a black widow and a full- Oh, centipedes. I forgot. They're bugs. Damn it. <clears throat> I'll, I'll be forgetting centipedes as bugs. I can't, I can't do centipedes, chat. Wolf spider meat. Do they get married? If you want to see what goes on in the world of insects, you need to see this as we count down 15 deadliest fights in the insect kingdom. Are they jumping a tarantula? Nah, the bees are jumping, bruh. Number 15, wasp versus bumblebee. Ugh. Wasps will attack a beehive if they consider the colonies insufficiently strong to justify their efforts. The wasps fight the defending bees, but if there are enough wasps, the bees near the hive entrance will be killed. The fundamental reason for this is that wasps are primarily interested in honey or protein. You can see some bees and wasps fight it out at this waterhole. Even though they are insects, the battles are spectacular ah. as they jump on one another and try to take each other out of the way. This wasp approaches a bumblebee and tries to defy it, but doesn't and moves it to the side until it sneaks up on it from behind. Although the bumblebee is not aggressive, the wasp continues to harass it for no apparent reason. Although the bumblebee is much bigger than this wasp, the wasp manages to sting the bumblebee 174 times during the filming of this scuffle. God, d imagine being stung 174 times? Bruh, oh nah. It said, man, if the wasp don't make his own, honey. <laughs> oh, my God. The wasp is terrorizing the bumblebee, and the large insect is no match for the wasp. The Fanatic brings you all the best content you want to see when it comes to the animal kingdom. If you want to see the latest confrontations between animals and the best animal videos, please subscribe now. We post new videos every day for your entertainment. Number 14. Honeybees versus Spider. Spiders eat flies, beetles, moths, and butterflies, as well as most types of bees. Mm. However, in our video, this Damn, spider that didn't nigga expect to meet an entire army of honeybees. This nigga getting jumped. This changes the game entirely, and now the spider's overwhelmed by the bees. Nah, that nigga getting jumped. It's being eaten alive, and it can't do a thing about it. The bees attacking the spider are flapping their wings quickly, and this is a signal to tell the other bees doing nothing to come and help destroy the spider. It's a kind of code the bees use to alert each other. I guess they're doing a good job because this spider is being destroyed. This giant fishing spider visits a few bees on a Sunday morning before heading to church. The bees don't seem disturbed at all and begin to approach the spider. The spider tries to convert the bees, but when they refuse, it decides to have a small snack before heading for Holy Communion. The bees are not pleased when the spider kidnaps one of their own and decides to eat it. Yo! The spider explains to the bees that their body is a sacrificial lamb. The bees laugh and attack the spider, and even though the spider is Damn. monstrous, there isn't much it can do against Damn. a horde of bees. The bees simply overpower Damn. the spider and chew it to bits. The bee owner explains the bees tore off one of the spider's legs, but didn't kill it, because he found the spider alive with one leg missing one week later. The bees left a note stating they had sacrificed the spider's leg to restore their faith in humanity. There's just no way. They jumped that nigga and pieced him up. They didn't even kill him. Just took this nigga leg, bro. Just took... Yo, nah, bro. That's crazy. They didn't even, like... They didn't kill... Just took the nigga leg. Like, yeah. Come back, bro. We got something for you. Damn. Humanity. Number 13. Forest Spider versus Butterfly. What's on the menu this time? Spiders are known to consume a wide range of meals. Flies, mosquitoes, moths, and butterflies are all common prey for web-building spiders. This butterfly is exploring nature, but it's unaware of predators lurking nearby, and it is ambushed and gobbled up by a forest spider. This spider has been waiting for a meal, and she has received one. There's no way for her prey to flee, 
Damn. Her web is strong enough to hold even the tiniest of birds. However, she is aware of the trap. She snips at her web with her scissors. She's caught a tiger butterfly, which is extremely venomous. This is something butterfly predators must learn. This butterfly is trapped in a spider web and is unable to free itself as the spider walks all over its body. The spider wraps its prey in silk before eating it. Here is another spider that has caught a butterfly and is wrapping it in silk. That's Some spiders wrap their prey in Like you be seeing bugs in spider webs and shit like that, but to just witness it firsthand, like to witness a fucking spider just wrapping a bug is crazy. It's crazy, bro. In silk after paralyzing it to make it easier to take back to the nest. Most spiders don't eat their food whole. Instead, they liquefy it by releasing digestive enzymes onto or into it. This butterfly has been caught and it can't shake the silk off of its body. It's trapped for good and the spider should be there soon to check <laughs> out the Bozo. merchandise. I think it's a butterfly bunts. <laughs> Camel what spider. What the fuck? Camel spiders became a web sensation during the 2003 Iraq war when reports of their bloodlust swept throughout the internet. Photographs of the spiders half the size of a human accompanied several of the accounts. The fuck do you mean by Camel that? Camel spiders have long been depicted in Middle Eastern folklore as massive venomous oh! predators capable of- uh, I can't- I saw a centipede, I almost lost it. I- I can't. Oh my god. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I can't, I can't do seven piece chat. I, I can't, I can't, bro. I can't, bro. Oh my god. I want to cry. Did you see how big that shit was? Oh my god. Whew. I can't. I, I gotta. I gotta breathe, chat. My heart rate. My heart. I'm gonna have a heart pound with bro. Like I can deal. Like I don't like bugs, bro. Spiders, I can I can I can tolerate a spider. But a motherfucking center oh my god. I wanna die. <laughs> I can't. Of running as fast uh. as humans and devouring enormous creatures. Of course, the legends are untrue. Even though these spiders do not eat camel stomachs or sleeping armies, and they are not particularly large, the actual camel spider is a dangerous predator. Is it, is it this footage allows you to see a camel spider in action, ah! being taken to the curb by a millipede. That's correct. The millipede is crushing the spider and begins to eat it after it was knocked out. This time, a scorpion takes on a camel spider and the fight is evenly matched. Oh my god. Both insects give it uh, their all and there doesn't seem to be a oh clear winner god. at the they end of it all. Each other up. This camel spider and tarantula lock legs and engage. The battle is intense like, bang, and they nigga. go at it for a make, while make, make, until make, the camel spider dismembers the tarantula and begins to eat it. The praying mantis is an exceptional killer. In this clip, it's taking on a camel spider and it looks like it will not be the mantis uh, taking uh, the trophy uh, home today. Nah, nah, hold on, hold on. Why the, why the prey mantis look like it's punching this nigga, bro? The prey mantis look like it got it in a headlock and just baking this nigga up, bro. In this clip, it's taking on a camel spider and it looks like it will not be the mantis taking the trophy home today. Damn. Number 11, beetles versus scorpion. Yo, didn't we see? Scorpions I think, and beetles. I, I don't remember which video it was, but we seen that. Um, oh, yeah, it was actually it was actually one of the Fanatics videos. I watched it with Holla. Um, actually, I think it's on Holla's channel where we seen that one of the beetles is actually one of the um, pound for pound, one of the strongest animals. Because of the weight it can lift, it's pound for pound one of the strongest animals in the world, which is crazy, which is crazy. A fucking beetle, chat. Beetles often meet on the battleground, and fights between the two can go either way. This video depicts the heavy battles these two can have at times. You can see them engage, not letting go. It looks like the beetle has the All upper right, hand in this one. Let's go, skull. This stag beetle was given to a scorpion to feed it, but the prey was too powerful for the predator, and the stag beetle killed the scorpion. A predatory beetle with powerful jaws and nearly impenetrable flexible armor. Damn. The warrior beetle is a force to be Damn. That the beetle exoskeleton going stupid. overlaps at the joints, preventing scorpions from penetrating it like other beetles. Other beetles are a regular prey item for scorpions, oh, wait. but scorpions oh, wait. are supper for the warrior beetle. Oh wait. Another battle to the death between a scorpion and a beetle. Which of these two culprits will win the battle? Oh, thank Number God it's 10. not spiders. Skull Centipede leave. versus tarantula. Ah! If I didn't Skull know better, leave. looking at this thumbnail, I would tell Skull you this centipede leave. and this tarantula are lovers. 
and they're cuddling up to watch a movie. They look so cozy and comfortable, and their eyes seem to be looking straight at the television set. What happens if one of the world's most Ow! venomous tarantulas so Oh, it got so many legs. It got so many legs. It got so many legs. Oh my god. They all move in unison, and I can't. I... Oh. Ooh. They just have so many legs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't. My chest. <laughs> my heart. <sighs> I can't. I can't. Slides with the massive Vietnamese centipede. Ah! The centipede seems to be the aggressor and decides ah! to go on the offensive right away. The spider climbs up the glass of the aquarium and drops on the centipede. The centipede has an opportunity to strike the spider right in its bag. When the centipede bites the spider in the leg, the spider once again climbs the glass of the aquarium. This centipede is already enjoying its dinner. You can see the length of the insect when the man filming puts his hand right next to this giant. Oh my god. It's the length of his hand. This gecko lizard is not having much fun when a giant centipede is biting its head off. The original plan was oh for the frog to receive a complete shoulder massage. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's... It... Oh my god, it's eating a fucking lizard's head? Nah, this is... I, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But instead, oh my god. it got a lobotomy. Oh my god. Check. Number nine, bull ants. Okay. Bull ants are huge alert ants Ooh. that can reach a size of 40 millimeters in length. Oh my they god. have huge eyes and long slender mandibles, as well as a venom-filled sting. They have excellent vision and can track and even follow intruders from one meter. Bull ants feed on honeydew, so this one ignores the cricket. But when the cricket gets too close, the bull ant treats it as an intruder nah, and the battle ant begins. And it doesn't last long after the huge. bull ant strikes the cricket, injecting it with formic acid. God, Offense, nah, I ain't gonna hold you. This, 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 this ant is fucking this nigga up. This ant is, nah, this ant is piecing him up, bro. Treats it as an intruder, and bro. the battle begins. And it doesn't last long after the bull ant strikes the cricket, injecting bing, it with bing, formic bing, acid. Bing, bing, bing. Fight back, nigga. Offense is the best bing, defense bing, bing, when you bing, have bing. the weapons, of course. Nah, he's, nah. They will not eat the cricket, but killed it because it was trespassing. It is inspecting the cricket, but it is not overly interested in it. This bull ant demonstrates its strong physical power as it drags a much larger cricket. This cricket is airdropped into an aquarium full of bull ants, and the minute the ant sees it, they chase it. This cricket won't last long. This bull ant clashes with a European wasp, and the battle is grueling. The bull ant teaches the wasp a lesson and carries it off the battlefield after claiming victory. A little courageous bullet ant fights a giant grasshopper in a skirmish. Swear! The giant grasshopper initially resists the bullet ant's attacks, but this does not last long as the bullet ant chops the grasshopper into pieces. Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god. The ant took off the grasshopper's leg. Nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's cra- Nah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Oh my god. Grasshopper initially resists the bullet ant's attacks, but this does not last Took long his whole as the bullet ant shoves off. the grasshopper into pieces. Look at this shit just sitting there. Number eight, scorpion versus cockroach. What? This scorpion is trying to capture this cockroach, but for some reason it's unable to. The roach hides well, making sure the scorpion thinks it's gone. This cockroach isn't as lucky, and once this female deathstalker scorpion grabs it, it's not letting go. This is the first the video, not a second The scorpion stings the roach and waits for the venom to take effect. This black whip scorpion chases this cockroach as it runs for its life, but eventually clutches it with its pincers and kills it. So what you're telling me... So what you're telling me... So what you're telling me... Is that the only... Bro, I don't mind cockroaches either. Alright, like I hate them. They're annoying and they're fucking gross. But I'm not as scared of them as I am centipedes, right? So with that being said, roaches don't usually die. I took a whole Tim to a roach one time, did not die. Apparently nukes cannot kill them. Raid, 
you got to spray raid on that bitch for five minutes to die. But if I get a scorpion, I'm Gucci, I might get a scorpion. I might. Not going to cap. Think smarter, not harder, chat. You know what I'm saying? Deathstalker Scorpion sees two cockroaches thrown in its enclosure. The cockroaches walk directly towards the scorpion as if they're friends. The scorpion doesn't seem interested in the cockroach, but when a worm is placed inside the enclosure, yeah. the scorpion devours it in seconds. Nigga got him. Yo, nigga got the. <laughs> nigga, nigga got the, the worm like these. Like, ah, uh, this is delicious. Let me get a piece. Look how he's holding the fucking worm, bro. Roach. But when a worm is placed inside the enclosure, the scorpion devours it in Damn. seconds. Exactly. Number seven, no. giant Ichnumon wasp. Giant, huh, wasp? Because of their size, Ichnumon and wasps appear to be- Chat. What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Why, why are they making these? Why are they making these? What is the need for all these dis different types of wasps? What the fuck is that? Look at his legs. Look at how it's built. Look at the size comparison to a regular fucking wasp. What, what is this hanging out of its ass? Is that its stinger? Is that its fucking stinger? What is this big long black thing hanging out of its ass? Whoa, pause. Don't, don't clip me. What is this? What is this? Deadly, although they are not. In self-defense, the wasp may jab with its ovipositor. In most cases, this will only result in a minor wound. If you see these wasps, ignore them. In this video, this giant Ichnumon wasp is standing in the middle of many yellow jacket wasps and walking among them. They all seem to be getting along fine. Number six, jewel wasp versus cockroach. Why are there so many types of fucking this nigga looks like, first of all, what? Do you see this nigga's color? Do you see his color? Why? Why? Number. First of all, this nigga twerking. That already raises suspicion. Why is this wasp this color? Why? Look at his, his throat. This wasp is throwing mad ass. Number six, Jewel wasp. Jewel wasp. So even if, if I even see this shit outside, I'm not gonna... I'm used to wasps being yellow. I'm used to bees being fucking yellow. If I see this nigga, I won't even know this is a wasp. Nigga got the ill paint job. What is going on? Hello? Oh my god, bruh. Wasp versus cockroach. Cockroaches are used by parasitoid jewel wasp as a source of live, fresh food for its progeny. To control the cockroach's behavior, the wasp injects deadly poison directly into its brain. The life cycle of this magnificent predator is depicted in this clip, which culminates in the cockroach's long- This nigga said, nah, he don't even, he don't just, this wasp don't just inject y'all, okay? The wasp don't just inject niggas, it injects it into your fucking brain. Injects the poison into the brain into the brain like huh huh a terrible death in the african savanna lives a very interesting creature this is the jewel cockroach wasp and she is on the hunt for something and it's a cockroach she approaches it carefully as the roach is far once she is close enough she stings it twice. The first sting disables the roach's front legs. Ugh. The second sting she delivers directly into the insect's brain. But this does not kill the roach, nor is it even- Look at it, look, first of all, look at the stinger. The stinger is right in the fucking head. 
God damn! Realized. The wasp venom simply disables the roach's escape reflex. She probes the further roaches for just the right place, and when she has found it, she lays her egg. The roach is not sustenance for her, but rather for her young. Now, she must protect her investments. She carefully seals the burrow with twigs and rocks. Inside the burrow, the roach remains. The egg will soon hatch. As a grub, the insect will bore its way into the cockroach's body and consume its internal organs in the order, most likely to keep it alive as long as possible. This bitch don't even eat them? Oh nah, oh nah, oh nah. So she, she incapitates the roach, hides the roach, lays her egg in the roach, and then the, uh, and, and then the, the, the fucking, the wasp that's born eats the roach inside out. What? Jesus. Jesus. Why are you making these bugs? Why are you making these bugs? What the- I, I wanna cry. These are actual things? Imagine you're minding your fucking business and something incapacitates you and lays its egg inside of you and now you are that egg servant. You have to- the, the, And then the mother keeps you alive just to lay the egg so the, the egg can eat you alive. What is the need for this? What do these wasps do that they need to be alive? Please. What environment are they helping? What environment are they helping to where that they just, it's just cool for them to just, to just do that? I ain't never seen, bro. Oh my God. This chase is comparable to a scene in an action and it, film. Bro, no, look at how fast it is. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And then, like, the, the roach literally can't escape, bro. The roach can't escape. Look at how fast the roach is fucking moving, and it cannot outrun this thing. Once it, and once it locks in on you, it's over. It's over. It's over for you. I have as long, long it's over. It's possible. This chase is comparable to a scene in an action film, as this drool wasp chases a cockroach all over the place. This Once nigga's running for his life! The cockroach, it brings it to a more discreet place. Oh my god! Yo, look at how it's pulling it! Cockroach. Oh my god. In this god. video, a drool wasp lays her eggs in this cockroach, and you can see the emergence of the newborn wasp, breaking out of the cockroach once it has matured. It's quite spectacular. Oh my... Chad, did y'all just see that? Chad, did y'all just see that? Did y'all just see that? This nigga just hatched out of a roach! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I cannot. What the fuck is this? The jewel wasp evolved side by side with the cockroach and it cannot reproduce without killing cockroaches. This drool wasp tries to dig something out of a hole, and when it doesn't find anything, it moves and begins to dig somewhere else and pulls a cricket out of nowhere. How did it know the cricket was there? Number 5. Mantis vs. Blowfly Adult blowflies eat a range of foods, but most species larvae are scavengers who feed on carrion or dung. The larvae feed on the decaying meat after the adults deposit their eggs on the carcasses of dead animals. These larvae prey on livestock, other animals, and even people. But this mantis doesn't really care. And uh, the blowfly doesn't impress it at all. It grabs the blowfly and- Not gonna cap. Prey mantises are fucking- Exactly. Prey mantises are so dope, bro. It's like having a little fucking kung fu warrior, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Prey mantises is having like, like a little fucking- Like a little, like a little ninja. It eats it like it would any other prey. While this praying mantis begins to eat this blowfly, the blowfly begins to eject larvae. That's fascinating behavior, especially while it is being eaten alive. Here is a huge praying mantis this hanging onto just a box fly and devouring it alive. This nigga is just munching! Oh my god, bro! Look at how he's just holding this big ass thing up and just... Ugh. Oh my god! You have a pet praying mantis? I bet that shit is so fucking cool. Here is a huge praying mantis hanging onto a bot fly and devouring it alive. 
There isn't much the Blowfly can do but recite a prayer. This Yellow Mantis attacks an Assassin Bug and begins to chew it up in no time. This the second don't bug even... tries to flank the Mantis, but the Mantis moves away from the bug. A third bug joins the fight, and now two- Look at all the hunks and chunks that this nigga done took out the bug already. This bug is dead as hell. Look at this. Look at it. And look at his face. Like, y'all niggas want next or something? Like, the fuck? Back up. Look, this nigga took chunks out this fucking- Oh my god, bro. Two assassin bugs try to save their friend, but the Mantis persists. At the end of it all, the Mantis demolishes all the assassin bugs in the aquarium. Safe to say, we know which bug is the real assassin. Number 4. Green Ants Green Ants? These green ants have made their kingdom a no-go zone for other insects. Any breach is greeted with a barrage of fire. The green ant's strength lies in their numbers. Some will pin the victim down, while others will continually bite it. A team immobilizes a beetle like a top commando unit, while others begin hacking it up. In only minutes, green ants can trap and murder a beast. However, some species such as this deadly tree scorpion can be too hot to handle. It's a cunning foe with size and steam on its side. The lower rainforest canopy is stalked by the tree scorpion. It has no fear of anyone, Ugh. thus it is not frightened to go anywhere. Ugh. In the rainforest, this critter understands how to look after itself. But how will it fare in a boundary dispute? The ant's empire nearby is rapidly expanding. The territory of the tree scorpion is under threat, and any disagreement will swiftly escalate into an all-out battle. Green ants do not negotiate when they enter your region. They simply show up in droves and take over. There's no diplomacy or debate. They owe only their queen allegiance. The tree scorpion, on the other hand, has little regard for the queen or her loyal subjects. A lone scout has discovered the scorpion. Although the scout is readily eliminated, it has issued a chemical distress signal. It's like an air raid siren going off within the colony. Troops are dispatched to the battleground to confront- What the fuck? Nah, that's some cool shit. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap. That shit is cool as fuck. So the shit dies, but the chemical it releases lets the fucking other ants know it's in distress, and they come beat this nigga the fuck up? These, this like this nigga sent out a bat signal once he died, bro. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Front the colossal intruder. The ants use their weapon of mass devastation, a cloud of formic acid, which is like pouring molten lava on the scorpion's wounds. The scorpion, on the other hand, continues to lash out, and the scorpion's victims continue to pile up. Damn. The wounded are cared for by medicants, but more soldiers arrive to replace the dead. And there's just no way. There's just, there's like, there, these, yo, you wouldn't think it, but these bugs are probably in a all, yo, you be walking around enjoying your regular human life. And these bugs out here fighting for their motherfucking life. Like this nigga, they're going into battle with a scorpion, right? It gets wounded. A fucking lifeline. Bruh, a lifeline comes out of nowhere. It's healing the other nigga. While these niggas is still beating this nigga the fuck. Nah, this is crazy, bro. This Dying. is crazy. The scorpion's final defenses are crushed by the onslaughts. The scorpion is trapped and helpless. The ants dismember their victim and display it for all to see in their town square. These crazy, crazy green ants decide to attack these bees. The ant soldiers are all over the bees. Nah, yo, I didn't even realize what this was at first, chat. Look at all these bees just being fucking, yo, nah. It's like one, two, three, four. It's mad bees just getting jumped. All of them are at least getting jumped by three, four niggas, bro. This is crazy. And all these bees, as, 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 as soon as you see a bee, you at least see three, four ants around it getting fucking jumped. Nah. The ants decide to attack these bees. The ant soldiers are all over the bees, and the bees are pinned to the wall. Green ants construct elaborate nests made of leaves they pull together with silk. Surprisingly, their young larvae produce this silk. Number three, Black Widow versus Wolf Spider. A huntsman spider and a black widow spider are fighting for survival. Ooh. The huntsman spider obviously sloppy movement could be due to the intoxicating effect of the black widow's venom. This black widow clashes with the wolf spider. The wolf spider is so much bigger than the black widow. Hold on. Let me question, question, question. Is this in somebody's house? Are you watching this at home? You're watching a big ass... 
This looks like it's inside somebody's house, bro. This black. This looks like it's inside somebody's house. You're letting this go on inside your house? Bruh. Black Widow clashes with the wolf spider. The wolf spider is so much bigger than the Black Widow, but it's the Black Widow that's the more aggressive of the two. Nah. It looks like the Black Widow takes it to the wolf spider. Uh. The Black Widow is little, yet she carries a deadly toxin that may kill a human in nah, only is one bite. Tussling. The wolf spider is so massive, it should not lose this fight, but it does. Everything is up for grabs when these two spiders meet. This time, the Black Widow destroys this wolf spider and devours it. Another battle to the death between these two assailants, and it looks like the Black Widow wins again. Skull, Get this look spider away. a husband, now. Number two, Asian giant hornets versus mantis. There we go. Another fucking type of bee that is just not necessary. Asian giant hornet? What do, what do we need this one for? Hmm? Jesus? Hmm? Jesus? What do we need this one for? What do we need this one for? Another fucking bee? What do we need this one for? What do we need this one for? This murder hornet and praying mantis clash. And this time, it's the murder hornet that comes out on top. It tears the mantis' head off and- it Oh! Whoa! 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 Nah! It's the murder hornet that comes out on top. It tears the mantis' head off and it's game over. This praying mantis has no chance of surviving when an overly aggressive murder hornet decapitates it. Hey, wait a minute, 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 chat. Rewind, rewind. Y'all remember the beginning of the fucking pandemic, right? Y'all remember the beginning of the pandemic when they said there were murder hornets found in America? Are these the same murder hornets? Are these the same bees? Oh, hell no. Nah. They out here just snatching the heads off of mantises? Oh, no. Oh, no. Murder horde is bigger? Why? Why are... Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? Why are these bees... These bees are not needed. I promise you they're not. This murder hornet is taking this praying mantis to the cleaners. I have seen many mantises kill murder hornets, but not today. God. Asian gigantic hornets, also known as murder hornets, can wipe out a honeybee colony in a matter of hours, thanks to queens that can grow to be two inches long and mandibles shaped like spiked shark fins. But in this video, a murder hornet takes on a praying mantis and slices away the mantis's appendages with cold surgical precision, after which the mantis will die and be eaten by the hornet. Number one, wasp versus caterpillar. No, not the caterpillar. Once this wasp disables and preps these caterpillars, it begins to eat one. I guess they are a good source of protein. This poor caterpillar is trying to escape the grip of this wasp, but the wasp seems to be too powerful. Nah, this, nah, the, the caterpillar is trying to get the fuck up out of there, bro. And this, this nigga in the back talking about <laughs> gas pedal. Nah, this nigga, bro, why are you? You see him trying to leave, bro. He don't want this smoke. You see him trying to leave, the bro. The pillar is trying to escape the grip of look this at wasp. How he's, yo, look at how he's holding on to this nigga. But the wasp seems to be too powerful. At some point, the wasp takes off. So I'm guessing that green goo popping out of the wasp's body must have something to do with it. Here is another wasp latching onto a caterpillar, and it doesn't look good for the caterpillar. Caterpillars don't have much of a defense system, and when this wasp attacks it, it just absorbs the blows until it perishes. Some of these insects blew me away, but my oh. three favorites were the jewel wasp and the green ants. Yeah, I just love how the ants took it to the scorpion and how the jewel wasp sneaked into the ant colony to plant its eggs. Which one do you prefer? Why don't you let us know in the comment section below? That jewel wasp so, is crazy. So, there you have it. Our list of 15 deadliest fights in the insect kingdom. That jewel Please wasp leave us a like crazy. and let us know what you think in the comments if you appreciated this video. I'm sorry, that jewel wasp does not need to be on this planet. There's no need for it. It's ridiculously OP. 
and I think it just needs to be taken out. Like it was, it really was. It's not necessary. They're just, they're just, they're just, just out here just doing shit. I don't think it's necessary. But now, W freaking video, man. If you like the video, then like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you thought was your craziest one. That jewel wasp had to be the the wildest. Um, and then subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications and all that good stuff. With that being said, I'm up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all have a good one. Peace.